Hi guys, Justin here, and today we're looking at the REI Half Dome 3 Plus Tent. Welcome back. So REI designed this tent to be roomy, affordable, good quality, and at a decent price. It's only available at REI and costs $280, but will often go on sale and you'll be able to get it for 20, 25, or 30% off. So first up, let's take a look at how long this tent takes to set up and how easy it is to set up. We've got the tent all set up. Let's just go over some of the features of the outer of the tent. It is a two door, two vestibule tent. And as you can see, it has really big, gigantic vestibules. We'll open it up and take a better look at the vestibules in a little bit. It also has these four vents, two on this side and then two on the other side, which is great. This tent has a lot of ventilation because of those vents and I've taken this tent on a canoe trip where we're camping on islands on the river and condensation was barely an issue with this tent at all while some other tents had a little bit of condensation issue so a great tent for condensation. The fly is made with a 40 denier nylon so it's a nylon fly as well as a 70 denier nylon floor. So with the nylon tent fly. I did notice that when it was wet, when I've had this tent out in the rain, you did get some sagging of the fly. To help with that a little bit, there are these side tie outs that pull the side of the fly a bit more taut, and that's great. Let's just talk about the vestibule a little bit more here. You'll notice that there's actually two stakes, one here and one here. And that's great for when you open the door because if rain's falling down, there's actually overlap of the fly over the door, so you're not gonna, if the rain's coming straight down, you're not gonna get rain inside of your tent. The downside of that, and something that I really don't like about this design and some of the REI designs in general, is that you need two stakes to tie out your fly. So it's just more things that you have to worry about, more stakes that you need to bring, and to me, that's kind of a pain. But if you want, there's a lot of flexibility with the vestibule, you can roll up just this one side and have a nice little storage area underneath there or you can take out that stake entirely and roll the whole vestibule up. All right so now we get a good look at these doors. We got big big teardrop shaped doors here so the door actually zips all the way to the top on both sides and you can just tuck this in up here with some of the clips, but you get a big wide open door. And the nice thing is if you fully unzip it, you're not gonna have your door dragging on the ground or getting into any sort of wet mud that may be there. So last thing I wanna talk about the outer part of this tent is how it doesn't wind. I've had this tent in some really windy conditions. Where I live, the wind gets up to like a thousand kilometers an hour or like a million miles per hour. And this thing held up great. It has really strong aluminum thick poles, as well as a hubbed pole design that really adds a lot of structural stability to this tent. And with all the tie outs, you can put a lot of wind at this tent and it's gonna be super stable. So let's take the fly off and take a look at the inner tent and you can see the pole structure at the same time. All right, so we have the fly off. I tucked the door into the little door pocket up here, which is super convenient and handy. As far as the floor dimensions, the tent is 92 by 80 inches length by width which is actually perfect width to fit four standard 20 inch sleeping pads in so they advertise this as a three plus person tent but i would say it's definitely could be a four person tent fairly easily it's only slightly smaller than the papa hubba by msr which is advertised as a four person tent so i have a 21.5 inch sea to summit ultralight insulated pad on the far corner there so you can see there's still tons of space over here so i'll just hop in i'm 5'10 
So you can get an idea of how much length there is in this tent. So laying down that way, lots of room. And you can see the head space here. I have about that much space above my head when I'm just sitting up. I could actually stand almost fully straight, get changed or anything in this tent. It's gigantic. When I first set the tent up, looking at it from the outside, I was like, all right, like it's a decent sized tent. And then I get inside of it and this thing's a castle. It's massive for a three plus person tent. As well as some of the features on the inside here, there's two pockets at this, these corners and another pocket at each of the other two corners. You can see there's this full mesh top here and more pockets up top. If you are laying down this way, you can get great stargazing up at the stars if that's what you're into. There's no poles blocking your way and there's nice black mesh that you can look through. The mesh of the inner is pretty durable. Um, it's definitely not an ultralight mesh, so you're not gonna have to worry as much about snagging it with zippers and everything. Overall, the whole tent's really durable. I mentioned the 70D nylon floor. The zippers are all super burly. I'd have, I have no worries about letting people like zip them super aggressively, opening and closing when they're getting in and out of the tent. I lend this tent out to friends because it's just so durable that I have no worries about it at all. You can see the, the hubbed pool frame here. So you have this orange pool that goes across the top and then standard X frame to the other corners. So I'm gonna sum things up by talking about weight. This tent is 96 ounces, which is actually lighter than the Papa Hubba by MSR, the four person tent. And like I said, you can fit four people in this tent, no problem. If you do have four people, that's a weight of 24 ounces each if you split it up. So you could actually argue that this is an ultralight backpacking tent for four people. That's ultra durable. And if you wanna have a nice roomy tent with only three people in, that's just over two pounds each, which is still really reasonable if you're going on a backpacking trip. And then you have the durability that you can easily use this as a car camping tent. If you had a family, I imagine if you had a family, I'm still quite a ways away from that. There's a couple hundred steps between here and there. Um, you, this would be a great tent. You could bring the kids out for a short backpacking trip, not worry about them wrecking your ultralight tent and you still have lots of room, you could fit a full four person family in here, no problem, or three people and a dog, or three people and two dogs probably. So having used this tent for the last year, I'd say it's a really good buy, I would recommend it. I do recommend it to lots of people who are looking for that kind of car camping slash backpacking tent that could be, that's on the cheaper side and lighter and they really do care about that durability. So yeah, t take a look at this tent if that's something you're into. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about this tent, throw them in the comments below. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I have a couple other REI products that are gonna be, I'm gonna be reviewing soon, so keep an eye out for those. And uh, we'll see you next time.